Hi everyone, uh, today's going to be a bit more of a serious video. Sounds like the beginning of a YouTube apology video, but I wanted to discuss an incident that happened to me uh, recently when I was working in as part of my job as a student creator, a job which I love by the way. And yeah, so it was a couple of weeks ago now and I was doing the job for the student comms team. I'm, I'm a student creator, it used to be called Digital Ambassador, but basically I create student content, media content for social media, for the university social channels basically, like YouTube videos, uh, Instagram lives, Instagram stories, things like that. And this particular time I was doing a live Instagram story, I was actually the guest with another student creator who was the host of this Instagram story and it was about it was something like making friends at university, feeling like university is home and things. It was something like that. And so while she was introducing herself to the audience, my colleague seems like a strange word to use, <laughs> but I guess colleague, um, while she was introducing herself and things, we suddenly started to see lots and lots of really horrific sexist comments from men on the chat. And it was things like, um, of all the girls at Nottingham as pretty as you, hope all the girls at Nottingham are as pretty as you, like, hey, pretty. Um, just, I'm, I'm paraphrasing a bit here, but there were lots, it wasn't just one, there were lots and lots of really horrible comments about her appearance and just, oh, it was, it was it was horrible basically. Um, I'll see if I can find any of the other ones because I screenshotted them because I was absolutely appalled and shocked that anything like this would happen, especially on an official university social channel. So they were asking things like, only thing I'm interested in learning about is you, was one comment. And then, are all the girls at Nottingham as pretty as you? And then just, oh, just horrible, horrible comments. So yeah, absolutely appalled and it put it threw her off and it threw me off, but she was really good. Uh, she was really professional and you know, kept it together. But it was just so upsetting and shocking that you can do such an innocuous job for the university and just because you're female, you'll get comments like that. Because let's face it, you wouldn't get comments if you were a guy doing that or anything. And we we're trying to report them and stuff, but it, you know that sort of stuff takes a while to go away and it was all being filmed live and it really shook her up and me up as well it was just like you had to keep one eye on the chat like oh what are they say now you'd be trying to talk and act professional and give help and advice to students meanwhile you'd be getting comments like that and it's just so sad that you're just trying to help people you're trying to help students at university prospective students and you have to deal with stuff like that so obviously our uh, manager sort of people they were also appalled at that and for future live instagram lives that we do we're looking at getting a um like a moderator in but it's just this horrible reminder that oh yeah i'm female and that sort of stuff will happen to me for no reason just because i'm female and men will exert their power because that's what it is it's men just commenting on it and trying to it, it's just a power play really and I yeah I've, I've spoken about how much it upset me and then those guys they just go home or they just forget about it after they, they leave those comments maybe have a bit of a laugh and then they just go and carry on with their day but for people like my friend colleague person and me and our manager that sort of stuff sticks with us it shook us up it makes us feel upset it makes us feel embarrassed. It makes us feel just embarrassed for existing, really, because you get these horrible comments about your appearance. I say horrible, not meaning unkind, but like horribly sexist and ugh. But I feel like I've got a bee on me. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, like I said, it's just another reminder of what it's like just to be female and things. And this was literally days after this thing happened in the UK which if you don't know there was a woman called Sarah Everard and she was attacked and killed while walking home at 9pm 
and she was doing what women would consider to be everything right to keep safe you know she was calling a friend you know dressing you know modestly all those sort of things and she still gets attacked and it's just a reminder that you can do everything right you know not provoke anyone or anything and it will still happen to you it could still happen to you and I hate that there's this mandatory curfew for 50% of the population where we all have to be in at dark all the messages like hope you get home safe and we've been having protests in the UK about it about just how women are treated generally and just how accepted it is that you shouldn't go out at night on your, on your own if you're a woman and it, it all ties in, it's all part of the same pyramid. Small comments like that on Instagram lives that upset me and my friend. It builds up to all that sort of stuff and violence against women. And it's just really horrible. And I just want to bring light to that and how just horrific it is. You know, we get underpaid in jobs, then we get overcharged with the pink tax, and then we have to pay for sanitary products, which are still taxed as a luxury item. At least Scotland have made them free and they're meant to be free in schools now but it's just things like that you're getting overpaid you're getting undercharged you can't go out after night by yourself all these different things and it's just accepted and no one ever views it as anything weird because it's become the norm and that's just really really sad and obviously it should change and yes I just wanted to talk about that and make sure that everyone outside the UK knows that that's what's been happening and just bring light to how big an issue that is and it can affect you even when you're just trying to be yourself and help other people and then you can just be your crime is being on the internet whilst female it literally is so yeah and <laughs> yeah I don't really know how to end this but just that uh, this was a really upsetting situation that happened to me that reminded me of just it's just really tough to be a woman then with everything that hap that's happened lately as well with our protests and things and it's just been really hard so I wanted to bring attention to that and talk to you about that and let me know if you as a woman as well perhaps have experienced anything like this as well it'd be really good to get a conversation going and make sure that men know that how big an issue this is they said 97 percent of women have experienced some form of sexual harassment 97 percent it's insane right and yeah i'm thinking of perhaps i could do another video in the future talking more about what men can do to help and support women in these sort of things because a lot of men worry that like if you if a man is out walking by himself and he sees a woman out by herself what can he do to help her feel safe because i'm always even when it's broad daylight i'll be checking over my shoulder if a man's behind me and walking i will just have to subtly be you know like that and yeah so see what men can do to help and women feel free to share your stories and yeah i'll see you soon bye